shall we start putting a little bit of makeup on and actually talking about let me get my notes up because you know somebody's got to make notes around here <laughs> not me although if you knew me you'd know that i was a very big detail oriented note taker but not with this there you go. fly by the seat of my pants baby and when also, I get ready, I usually don't have hair on though, but I do do that root spray. I love this root spray stuff. This is like my new, my new greatest hits thing. So I, I will uh, spray up my sides here like that, spray up my sides here like that because they're so. Um, this is the one, so, I have, uh, which is the one you have. The L'Oreal. Yeah. Is it who makes that? Oh, that's is that say boot? Boots. So I've also got this powder, that I get from. Um, amazon and you can so this is like th this is what i'm doing now is like i'm, I'm put, spraying this in my sides here and yeah. then i'm just dragging it through my eyebrows which have That's almost it. no color and now i don't have to spend any more time on my eyebrows because they're all they're i mean they look great they i mean they look great it doesn't sweat off it doesn't rub off but what's funny is that if i get a little too heavy-handed i can just take a cloth and just kind of wipe around it and i'm telling you so much such a time saver I'm I'm in love with this little this new thing here, and then I just kind of rub some right in the front, and that's it. So now I've got my darker sides, yeah, and they're not so shiny. And when, whatever I have left, I put on a little ponytail here. When you used to get ready, okay, before um, before you actually started here, when you used to get ready to go to work, did you feel a little bit anxious when you were ready about how you were going to end up looking? I, it would take, I would have to get up at four in the morning to be to work at six. I, I would take two hours just to, to, to um, and I remember this from the, from the first, my first wig journey a couple of years ago when I was had, making videos before, before I started wearing wigs, hours, I would have to get up hours just to get, just to get it to where I was. And, and still all during the day, it was horrific because it was, I had topic powder falling all over me. Uh, I remember one guy whispering and I heard him say, is she got, um, uh, what did he say? Did she, is that like magic, magic Sharpie or something on her, on her hair, like on my head? It was horrible, just horrible, just horrible. And, and, you know, it's like incredible now because I get ready so fast, like so fast. I know that's the beauty of it, isn't it? I hear completely what you're saying, by the way, because I used to have to make sure my hair was dyed, washed, uh, dried, straightened, and then curled. And then I try to mold it into some semblance of uh, a kind of a camouflage. I wasn't going to go through that anymore. It was so depressing. So something else that's a game changer for me, one of my things that I absolutely love that I've been doing for the last five years is using a white or a nude color in my waterline. My waterline. I'm starting to talk like you. Oh, my God. In my waterline. So it really good. makes my face look awake. I love this stuff. It yeah. really does make a difference. And I know that a lot of people will say you can't do that all the time because of your eye safe. And but I'm telling you, I do it anyway. I, I love it. It makes such a difference in make in making me look awake because I cannot put makeup or anything in, in like any of this. I just have to use my own skin tone. So I use that bronzer stuff. Like when I get out of the shower, like I already put it on the bronzer stuff because it needs about 45 minutes just to set up and uh and kind of because i it was i used to wear the shiny sparkly eyeshadow and stuff and now i just use matte i'm a matte girl I now do too. how funny and uh why I, did I you change... decide to use matte now because i i started looking at uh pictures of myself and they accentuate all I, I have a lot of wrinkles just texture it's texture it's like a it's it's weird it's like if I pull my skin it doesn't go back right away and so it leaves these lines and so it was I really looked agey aged and I kept seeing that all these you know makeup at 50 in uh YouTube videos and they are all using cream eyeshadows and matte and it did take me a while to get to get moved over but I'm really happy with it now. And so I don't use nearly as much eyeshadow. It doesn't take me nearly as long. And uh, cause I have hooded eyes. And then I was using, I, I used to always take my eyeliner and go all the way around both sides. And when I looked at myself, I looked like my eyes were like almond or like, you know, like slanted. And that's because it was closing everything up. So it does take a while to get used to the new, but I'm really happy with it now. Yeah. And the products are so good now. I mean, the products for mature, mature skin. I'm so mature, <laughs> so immature. Um, the products are so good now. Um, 
they don't flake and 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 make you look like you're tired because it's it's uh bleeding you know down as the day goes on i love have you heard of tubing mascara of which tubing tubing mascara I so, like this it, but i've never used it so cool it's so cool so these are l'oreal products so i i i have found these these guys i, I follow these guys on youtube they they were makeup artists they worked at sephora and now they're just doing youtube videos and they they they've got they doing makeup on brides and the mother of the bride and they they have a lot of a lot of skills and so they're the ones that kind of turned me on to these L'Oreal products. I picked these up at my grocery store. So they they use this Lash Paradise, which has been around for years and years and years. And it's very cool because it gives you a lot of volume. Like it fills up your lashes, like makes them look real like thick. Yes. Because I, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not going to put in like little pieces of eyelashes and that kind of thing. I'm not going to do that. You know, like how how uh, you see people like that do these wig reviews. They're all glammed up like they're glamour. And that is not realistic for me. But I do like to have like a like a eyelashes because when you get old, you lose the color in your eyebrows, you lose the lose the color in your eyelashes, and so to put all that back, that's an optical illusion. That just just like a root in a wig. It's so weird that you would think you want to see your hair growing up, but that's what people identify with as normal, I guess, and yeah. it's normalized in our minds. So if you don't have that, it doesn't look it doesn't look right. Do you wear a wig when you get ready in the morning? Well, I I put my makeup on first and then I put my wig on afterwards or my topper. Me too. Me too. So once I get this mascara on, the um the Lash Paradise, then I go in with the other L'Oreal. It's called Pana Panorama and it's this gold one. It's kind of new. Milani has a tubing mascara, but it's too wet. I tried it. It's too wet. It doesn't dry down fast enough. So once they get these really full lashes, I go in with this and it like it coats each lash in like a tube and it comes off. So all you do is get a, a wet rag, like a warm wet rag and just lay it on there and it just comes right off. It's Aww. so cool. It's the neatest stuff ever. You'll love this. It's incredible. Well, it's incredible. I, so I get I've got a local number seven, and this is my number seven define and enhance mascara, which is actually quite lengthening. But they do a tubing mascara. So I'm, I'm going to try, try it. You've got to try it. It's the coolest thing ever. It really does. And you'll notice the difference. I think Elf has put out one. Do you have Elf over there? Do you yeah. get your stuff at Boots? Boots is like a... a pharmacy type thing like like a Walgreens yeah yeah we've got boots here on the high street I'll try it um I was just thinking while we're getting ready I I, I was just wondering what you feel now after our little chat oh. the other day well it was a little nerve-wracking in the beginning I'm not gonna lie I it was nerve-wracking in the beginning, not going to lie. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure how people would, you know, if anybody would understand it. And what I found was so many people are in the same situation or their daughter is in this situation or, you know, someone they know is in this situation. So um, did you go into was, the comments? Yeah. And then I got comments even and DMs, you know, on my Instagram and Facebook. So I've gotten private messages from people as well. And so... <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away at how many people are in this have the same situation going on it's like and how COVID really really hit it hard on on us because of the alcohol that they were allowing to come through the door which I still don't I still don't understand how they were doing that but you know, one thing I've noticed as I've gotten older is my whole face has changed and so when I used to use uh, bronzer it would put it in the hollow of my cheek and now I have to put it up higher up like Instead of going down here, I go way up high and I put my blush way up here. I don't put it on my apples anymore. I have to put it way up here. And it really does lift everything up. It's amazing how how just the placement just up a little bit higher makes such a difference in just the overall appearance. I can't believe how it's changed. It's funny how but, we have to change our makeup as we age. I was wondering how uh, the comments were on you. I I didn't know. I I, I was ready for cancel culture. I was really ready for everybody to blow me right off YouTube and like I don't care what wig you wear. I don't care what you look like. We I don't want to hear from you anymore. And then I was wondering how it was going to be for you. With why are you associating with somebody who's like a a, a criminal? And uh, so I wonder how was it for you? Were you did you feel any anxiety when it came out? 
Well, I it never occurred to me that we were going to get any negative comments. It didn't even cross my mind. So the very first two comments, when they came in negative, you could have knocked me over with a feather. I simply couldn't understand what the problem was. I was ready for that. I really, I actually was ready for that. I, I figured all of them would be that way. So when I saw that come in, man, I just, I and just it threw really, myself it, under the it, it, it really upset you, didn't it? It did. I, I put myself under the covers and I didn't come up for a day. I just, I put a, I have hardly anything left, but I have this tiny little ponytail. Yeah. And then I have a wig grip. So I make sure it's going back the and right you, way. And you always use the wig grip and that that suits you well, does it? That's it. Now I know you do clips. I had some clips in my very first wig and it just pulled everything out so that I had. it's not clips, it's these, it's combs. It's a diff different thing. So you yeah, see- I, You're right, because mine were clips. Well, clips will, will grab hold of your hair. And hurt. I know how you love to grab that hair and flip that hair. I know. I've watched enough of your reviews to know. <laughs> I Have you seen my little short of me in 30 mile an hour wind? <laughs> you haven't seen that, have you? I probably have seen it. When did you, when did you film it? A couple months ago. Oh One thing that I love and have always loved, and it's almost embarrassing because you already know this, but <laughs> I love blue-based red lipstick. Blue-based, where, you know, it's got a, a blue undertone because it makes your teeth whiter. Oh, okay. But Thanks. you look really harsh now. Right. So do you do you ever pull out any of this side hair here? No, no, no. Because no. I my the way that my head is shaped, like the, the, sh the frame of my face, it does not fit around the way the wigs go. So it's always going to look anyway. And I just, I am like, like this. Uh, well, I guess I could because I sprayed my roots. But I don't, I don't, because I like everything. I, I just, I used to, years ago, try that, you know, and kind of blend it in. But I, I don't know, I just, you're used to toppers. So it might be, it might be something that you, you're, you're more accustomed to the blending of both this and that. And I'm not. Oh, are you a permatease girl, Dawn? Oh my God, you know that. Come on, sister. You've been... I, I got my own permatease. See, I'm growing my own. I was going to rename my channel and probably be something catchy with permatease, like, like, you know, so that people who were stumbling across me that didn't like permatease wouldn't stop. 